Hello, John Zimmerman from Tablet Class Math. And what I want to do here is take a look at a very common type of word problem. This is, uh, I would say, at the pre-algebra, algebra one level. So if you're not in these courses, let's say you're in geometry or algebra two or beyond, then you should be able to uh, to to do this problem. So it's a good check. So even if you're not in an algebra one course or pre-algebra course, see if you can do this problem because this is a nice review, especially for those. Um, this is kind of similar to the type of problems you may find like on the SAT or ACT test. But anyways, here's the problem, okay? And I classify this as an age word problem. It's a very typical type of word problem in algebra. So the, the problem is Dave is twice as old as Helen. And seven years ago, the sum of their ages was 13. So how old are they now? So uh, I would encourage you once again to go ahead and pause the video and, you know, tinker around with this problem, see if you can do it. And if you're a parent watching this video, see if your child can do it. But you should give them uh, more than just, say, 30 seconds to figure it out because oftentimes students will say, well, you know, I can't get it, you know, after like 30, 40 seconds. Give them a couple minutes and see if they can, see how far they can take this problem. All right, so let's get into this, okay? So Dave is twice as old as Helen. So first, the first thing is this. With the word problem, you definitely need to, to read the problem itself at least two, three times, just, just before you even start doing anything, make sure you comprehend um, the problem. And I also kind of like to underline the actual question. So Dave is twice as old as Helen. Seven years ago, the sum of their ages was 13. Okay, so I kind of, you know, so the second time I read this question, Pretty, pretty confident I understand um, the information in the question and the question is how old are they now okay so if you can see here we're kind of comparing two time frames and this is where you experience with word problems kind of, kind of comes in and the more you practice them the better off you're going to be so we need some sort of way of kind of setting up this problem using variables um, to kind of model what's going on so there's two time frames we're talking about. We're talking about now, and then we're talking about seven years ago. Okay. So anytime, by the way, anytime you think you can kind of pick up what, what I'm doing, and you think you can take the problem and you know finish it, then you, I would encourage you to pause the video and just see if you can you know kind of you know take the problem on your own, if you will. Okay. All right. So now, for well here, this is where we're going to have to start selecting some variables for what's going on. So here, the first uh, statement, Dave is twice as old as Helen. So which one of these here can represent, well here, let me just write it this way. We have two people here. We have Helen and we have Dave, okay? Now, we have to go back to our question to, rep to think about what our variable is gonna represent. The question is, how old are they now? So a variable, let's say our variable x, would represent age, right, in years. So our, our variable is going to represent age. So considering the this first statement, okay, this first sentence, Dave is twice as old as Helen. How can we use a uh, variable to model uh, this relationship? Okay. So let me give you a hint. Which one of these, Helen or Dave, should be say x, the variable x? Can we think about that for a quick second? Well, if you think about this, Dave is twice as old, okay? He's going to be double the age of Helen. So if Helen is X, okay, Dave can be 2X. Now, you could put uh, Dave as X and Helen as one half X, but that's a little awkward. Okay, so let's just make sure you understand this. So Helen is X years old. Dave is twice as old as Helen. That's just she would, he would be 2X uh, years old. Okay, now let's kind of take take this to the next step now. So seven years ago, the sum of their ages was 13. But before we get to the sum of their ages part, let's just see how old they were seven years ago. So if Helen was X, uh, she's currently X years old, seven years ago, she would be what? X minus seven. We're just going to shave seven years off her current age. So we'll do the same for Dave as well. So this is going to be two X minus seven. Okay. So this is our the current situation, and this is seven years ago. Now it's important that we have both of these kind of uh, 
you know, organize both of these setups, their ages, because their ages, their age relationships have changed during the years. So seven years ago, okay, the sum of their ages was 13. So the sum of their ages would be what? It would be this, okay, that's Helen's age, and then this is uh, Dave's age. So the sum of their ages is 13. That's the um, part of the problem that will um, allow you to set up an equation. So let's go ahead and write that out. So the sum of their ages, I'm just going to take their ages and add them up. So it'll be x minus 7 plus 2x minus 7. Okay, this is Helen and Dave's uh, age seven years ago, respectively. The sum, I'm going to add them, so that means the sum is 13. Okay, so just go back to the problem, or was 13 years old. So at this point, and all of you out there are masters at solving equations, <laughs> so you want to go ahead and just solve this equation for x. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. So this is going to be 3x. All right, I'm going to go through this just assuming you understand how to solve equations. And if you don't, you might want to go back and review. So this is going to be 3x minus 14. Okay, I've just got these two 7s here. Equals 13. Now I can add 14 to both sides. All right, now I get 3x equals 27. So you can see x is going to be equal to 9. So what does that mean? Okay, what is x? Okay, this is where you have to go back to where you establish what your variable represents. Remember, x right here was Helen's current age. So Helen would be 9 years old. And Dave is twice as old as Helen, so that would be 2 times 9 is 18. Okay, so it makes sense. So you got 9 and 18. All right, so if you didn't quite get this... Um, at you know, first glance, and even if you're in Algebra 2 or Pre-Calculus, trust me, there's a lot of students who have gone through these courses, but faced with the word problem, they, you know, get kind of, you know, a phobia, if you will. But I love word problems. I think this is like the real application of, of algebra. This is why we learn math, you know, to solve problems. So, anyways, the more you practice uh, word problems, the better you're going to be. But anyways, if you're not familiar with Tablet Class Math and our homeschool courses, please come on over to our site. Uh, we got a great free demo and excellent cost. So check us out at tabletclass.com. And thanks for watching the video. Have a great day.